Okay, here's a story that I think comes out of, in a sense, right out of, um, right out of Atlas Shrugged. Uh, you know, this is crazy stuff. So I don't know if you know, but there's a big conflict between the labor unions and the railroads, railroads in the United States. Railroads in the United States um, have always... Um, railroads in the United States have always been um, heavily, heavily regulated, um, uh, but they're still private companies. Uh, they're negotiating a new deal with the unions. The unions are playing hard, and they're threatening a strike. Uh, I think there are four out of 12 unions have not accepted the deal that the railroads have offered, or actually not that the railroads offered, it was actually negotiated by the government. The government, because it heavily regulates the railroad, and because railroads are, quote, strategic, the government helped negotiate the deals. They sat the unions down, they sat the railroad executives down, and they negotiated this big agreement. And four of the unions have voted the deal down. And you'd expect the Biden administration, you'd expect the Democrats to say, you know, let's do another deal. We can't have unions voting down deals. Let's 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 squeeze the railroad companies. But it turns out um, that's not their approach at all. Uh, you know, this is this is uh, it's the same approach as I think any president would take. These are these people are authoritarians. These people want their way or the highway. They don't care about unions. They don't care about anybody. They care about. In this case, I think they care about not disrupting railroads because it'll look bad on the Biden administration. Not disrupting railroads because, I mean, you've already got somewhat of a supply chain mess with China. If the railroads were shut down in the United States, you would really get a supply chain mess. I mean, you guys don't realize how much of everything, from oil to natural gas to, to, to all our goods to all our stuff that is not shipped by plane— is shipped by boat, by you know some by truck, but railroads are massive. I, I don't have the percentage of all the stuff, right? But the fact is that the Biden administration is upset at the unions because uh, more than 150, you know, the 115,000 workers could go on strike, and that'll hurt the economy and disrupt the flow of goods. So Biden, this is Biden's response, and I'm quoting Biden. As a proud pro-labor president, I'm reluctant to override the ratification procedures and the views of those who voted against the agreement. I mean, they voted. It's democratic. The unions voted against the agreement. But, he says, in this case, where the economic impact or shutdown could hurt millions of other working people and families, I believe Congress must use its powers to, ad to adopt this deal. It turns out, based on some Railway Act in the past, uh, under the Railway Labor Act, Congress can make both sides accept an agreement their members have voted down. Lawmakers also can order negotiations to continue and delay the strike deadline for a certain period, or they can send the dispute to an outside arbitrator. In this case, they've already, I think, done the arbitration and done the sit-down. In this case, they are going to pass legislation. Nancy Pelosi has said that the House would vote this week in legislation to adopt the agreement. They're going to force the unions to accept an agreement they don't want to accept. I mean, that's pretty brazen for a leftist, uh, you know, for a, a, a left-wing uh, government, um, and very authoritarian, and uh, something you'd expect uh, you know, Republicans maybe to do, but they, they'll, they'll probably need a few Republican votes in order to get this passed, because I'm sure that some of the uh, progressives will not pass for this. Um, but um, negotiations continue. The last railroad strike was in 1991. It lasted 24 hours before Congress and President George H.W. Bush signed legislation ordering the workers back to their job and setting up an arbitration process as a result of disputes over uh, so here you go. Republicans do it. Democrats do it. It doesn't matter. I keep telling you it doesn't matter. They will use the force of government to achieve their utilitarian, political, controlling, manipulative ends no matter what. And here Biden and Pelosi will do what 
George H.W. did with Congress back in 1991. They will force a labor union that has rejected a deal to accept it. Now, I think the solution to this is they allow the train companies to fire the railroad uh, workers who don't want to come to work. Uh, that's how you deal with a strike, or one potential way to deal with a strike. But that, of course, is off the table. That, of course, is off the table. I mean, Reagan firing the, the air traffic controllers, he fired them. He's, he has every right to do that, and I wish the railroads had the right to fire their railroad union employees when they went on strike. Of course, Reagan could do it. The railroad executives cannot. There's laws to prevent that. But did you know there was a Railroad Labor Act that allows the government to impose deals between railroads and unions. It sounds like it's straight out of some authoritarian nightmare. It sounds like it's, uh, it's something that, um, I don't know, we would have in, uh, we would have in Atlas Shrugged. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.